YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG online match on my channel. Today we are gonna check out Passamian, yeah I know I, I've thought about making a deck like this but it actually took some time and today we are uh, yeah reviewing the Passamian deck. Passamian is all about team play, dealing 30 more damage for each of your best Passamian. Yeah these Passamians are really nice, definitely play four of them. Um, the Mew from Fates Collide can also be a really nice uh, Pokemon in your deck because it has free retreat and uh, this Pokemon can use all the attacks of uh, your basic Pokemon in play so you can use that team play attack and deal for even more damage if you have four Passimian on the bench. You can even play more Mew but I just preferred like playing only one because you only need it in certain matchups where you need to deal more damage. We also have strong energy to deal more damage and uh, the Fighting Fury Belt as well. So I'm just running a list like this. Uh, it's also nice uh, once you have the Fighting Fury Belt on your Passimian, uh, when uh, your opponent attacks you and you uh, manage to survive, then you just uh, use Ninja Boy and poof, a Taurus GX can just knock out anything in your path. Also, I'm running the 2-2 line of Garbodor together with Silent Lab just to slow our opponent down and just get rid of all those abilities. Just think about, oh, we're item locked and our deck is all about items. So with that, we just get out Garbodor, shut down all the uh, item lock shenanigans, shutting down even the feather arrows from uh, the, the Situai GX, as well as the power heaters uh, from the, uh, or actually the steam ups from Vulcanian EX. So we shut down everything like that and Passimian just runs through almost about everything. We also run three Nas Balls. Nas Balls is great because uh, with, with that we can just get out of Passimian in time to deal our team play attack for more damage. The energy count is only 8. Why is that? Uh, you might think, well just uh, look at this, we already run 4 DCE which is needed for the team play. All 3 uh, strong energies for the extra 20 damage and uh, the occasion uh, of just starting with it and just using it for his first attack because that's also nice, they can snipe to deal that last amount of damage. Also 1 fighting energy just because, just imagine yourself there's Giratina using that attack and yeah we cannot do anything about it. So uh, usually we just uh, Lysander out something and uh, next turn we attach more special energies but yeah there's a uh, 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 yeah, fighting energy in there. We can also reuse it with Super Rod. So yeah, I just like only one fighting energy. The strong energy and DCEs are just uh, yeah a standard in a deck like this. Also two Float Stones just to go to that Garbodor or maybe Tauros if it's stuck. Uh, Revive is in here. The four puzzles of time is something you might uh, question. This is nice because with that if you have two of them in your hand, you can put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. It's sort of like a mini Hollow Hunt GX and that's why it's so good. Getting back your Passimians and other uh, yeah maybe a Shaman or Toro. So we also run two stadium cards. Faded Town is uh, needed in this deck because we cannot uh, yeah, destroy Mega Evolution Pokemon that easily. They have a lot of HP and with that we just put two damage counters on each Mega Evolution between turns. So uh, 20 on the end, their entering turn, then they get 20 back to our turn. So we already have four damage counters on them. With that, the our, uh, Mew can just attack Mega Mewtwo for super effective damage and poof, let's just get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, also the standard things, uh, two Lysander, then uh, yeah, there's not... No no three ends, only two ends and then a Professor Kukui because sometimes we need the extra damage just to get that knockout. Uh, the escape rope is in here as well, is also needed in a matchup like uh, let's say Jolteon. Uh, he used the attack, we just want to get a KO that turn, just use escape rope and it's gone and uh, with that we Lysander it back and poof it's uh, out of there. Also uh, special charges in the deck to get uh, yeah, our fighting uh, special, actually strong energies and these E's back in the deck. So this is pretty much the list. And uh, yeah, Enhanced Hammer, of course, why not? There's a lot of uh, DCEs and Double Dragons being played. Why not yeah, use that? Okay, we're just gonna save this deck and we're gonna test it out on the online program. I hope you guys are ready. It's been a while since uh, we made a Sun and Moon deck, so let's just get straight to it. Let's go to Versus. The versus ladder is still uh, Latios EX, as you can see. Uh, it's not that uh, terrific, but I made a video about donking. If you want to know more about donking, check the video. It should be in the description below. Anyway, let's get it started. We're gonna check out Passimian. It's looking for an opponent. Still looking. Woo! Who will be on the other side of the world? Hopefully, it's a competitive deck. That way, we can test out the, the pure skills of Passimian on how fast we can deal damage. Passimian usually two shots Pokemon. Okay, there is an opponent. He is playing a Water, Fire, Psychic and Carlos deck. It's uh, Adels Ferris and uh, he is ha having a Litten coin. So I'm predicting a Fire deck of course. Maybe we lost the coin flip. Usually this would be bad, but in our situation we can attack first. That is also something great. We already have two Passimians, so we just gotta slap the Passimian down. And uh, we'll see how it goes. 
So uh, yeah, also gonna snap a, slap another Fasimian down. Tauros, not just yet, we have Ninja Boy. And we also have the Super Rod and Sycamore. Hmm. Maybe we can bench it later, but we'll see how it goes. We also have Professor Kukui next turn to deliver more damage. So our opponent is benching a bunch of uh, his uh, Pokemon, so he looks like he has... Yeah, Volcanion. We are facing Volcanion. How terrific. So Volcanion is a deck that uses a lot of uh, power uh, with the steam up to deal more damage and getting knockouts like that. Together with the uh, power heater getting these energies back from the discard to their bench Pokemon. Already a floatstone on the fire on this, uh, yeah, Volcanion. Nice to see that he attaches it to the Volcanion, not to the Volcanion EX, because, uh, yeah, Volcanion EX with Fighting Fury Belt does have a lot of HP. So, uh, it looks like he actually uh, ends us because uh, we had a great hand, but now it's gone the drain, down the drain, because, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we don't have anything. We don't have a supporter. Usually the deck is consistent. Hopefully we top deck an Ultra Ball, a Sycamore, an N would be nice as well. Uh, yeah, otherwise we just have to snipe. The good thing is we have Escape Rope, so if he does not attach another Float Stone, we should be good. And uh, yeah, that puzzles of time. Maybe we can get another one, but that is only good in the late game. For now, it just uh, lets us, if you only have one and play one copy, uh, then if you slap it down, you can look at the top three cards and sh uh, put them in any order. This is kind of interesting. If you, uh, yeah, look at the top three cards and your deck and put them back in any order. Kind of uh, interesting to get the, the things you want. Maybe, uh, yeah, <laughs> to get that uh, supporter like next turn. Okay, he slaps down Shaman. That is not good because if we use Escape Rope, he's gonna promote to Shaman and that only has one retreat cost. I, uh, yeah, wouldn't, would have preferred to see something else. So, uh, yeah, energy going down on the Vulcanian EX. So he definitely knows that he's gonna have to use the Volcanian EX in order to win the matchup because, uh, yeah, we are having 110 HP with the Fighting Fury Belt. We add that up to even more damage, or actually HP. So, we'll see how it goes. Volcanian is kind of a tough matchup here. I would have, uh, yeah, uh, preferred to have a Dark Ride GX, or <laughs> actually a Dark Ride EX matchup. So, wow, another setup going down. Five cards again. Wow. Three Volcanian EX on the bench. Wow, this will be tough. We'll see how it goes. We draw the supporter though, so uh, for now I think we will just use the escape rope here because uh, we don't want to damage that uh, baby Volcanian. We want to damage something bigger, an EX, to get two prize cards. So uh, also the reason that I'm playing it is uh, why not. We already uh, yeah, have the Sycamore in hand. We can use a, a strong energy, but I'm more of a fan of setting up and using team play in this situation. We want two hit knockouts on the Volcanian next. It's a shame to get rid of those uh, strong energies, but we do have uh, the special charge to get them back if need be. So, Sycamore, everything away. We need a double Carlos energy. As we see, we have the double Carlos energy. The good thing is that we also have our Trubbish. We need our Trubbish in a matchup like this because, uh, yeah, all those team ups will definitely deal a lot of damage for now. We're just gonna slap down the Silent Lab. With that, our opponent will not be able to use abilities like Steam Up, which is uh, in our favor. For now, I'm also gonna use the Puzzles of Time. Not really. Uh, yeah, we can get back a Sycamore if we pull another one, but uh, yeah, we also have N. So, maybe we can play it. I'm not too sure about it. So for now, I'm just gonna use the Double Carlos Energy. Ah, I would have preferred more Pessimians in play. Oh, now we only deal 40 damage. Ugh. But that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the Volcanians are shut down with Steam Up. That is a good thing. Uh, I cannot promise you guys that we will win this matchup, but it sure looks, uh, yeah, terrifying seeing them uh, play up like that. So Olympia, he's switching around to his baby Volcanian, healing up that, uh, wow, that uh, Volcanian EX or damage was not needed at all. Wow, Skyfield as well. So all his Steam Ups will work this turn. So we will get destroyed, probably. Power Heater, no, only 20 damage going down on the Simeon. So we have Lysander, that is good. He's building up all his Volcanian EXs, so uh, we can also switch, use Lysander, but uh, in this situation, we definitely need to end. We need more Passimian in place, so hopefully we can get, uh, yeah, something else. Another Passimian and an Ultra Ball, so I think we're good. Yeah, let's just bench that Passimian down. Let's see what we get. We have uh, the Trainer's Mill. Going down, what do we get? We have an Enhanced Hammer, will not work in this matchup. Uh, puzzles of Time, what do we have in our discard? 
Uh, yeah, we can get the silent lab back, that is good. So maybe we can just get out... Yeah, the puzzles of time. There we go. So for now, I'm just gonna use the Ultra Ball in this situation. I'm gonna get rid of those. There they go. And uh, we can get out the Garbodor. That is something we can do. Or we can get out the Shaman. I think Shaman is a bit better in this situation since we do plan on uh, slapping down that Silent Lab. So uh, we're just gonna use the... Yeah, the Puzzles of Time. I'm actually gonna put two cards from the discard, so we have two copies in our hand, so we can get something. With this we can use the escape rope method, and uh, getting some damage onto an EX. Or uh, we can go with the silent lab method, and uh, yeah, we can also get out the sycamore in this situation. But uh, we have the shaman, maybe a via seeker is better, that way it uh, helps us to get the right card at the right time. So. Let's just get out those two with the uh, puzzles of time, so you see how good this is. We're not gonna slap down the silent lap, just gonna use the shaman first before slapping down the silent lap. There we go, get some more cards. Hopefully the nest ball, that would be cool. Uh, we have the faded town, also an option here, faded town, but uh, yeah, our opponent does not have a mega, so silent lap will be better in this situation. Okay, back to our uh, stuff here. Not the things we want, so for now, team play will do the trick. Um, dealing more damage, 70 damage it is, no 40 this time, 70. So he will probably switch into that Vulcanian EX that has a ton of energies. He also has a Fighting Fury Belt. The good thing is that he has to retreat in order to uh, do something. Maybe he has uh, more escape ropes or stuff, but let's just check his discard. Yeah, there is an Olympia, so VS Seeker will do the trick for him. So uh, another Max Legs are definitely going down on that Vulcanian EX. We have Revive, we can revive him, so that is good. So he will be able to deal more damage and he has to actually take 6 prize cards in order to win. Because we, if he knocks out something, he only gets 1 prize card. So uh, yeah, that's that. We have the Lysander, that is good. 140 damage, not bad. Okay, Trubbish, go! I'm sending you up, man. Alright, what do we do? We have another Trubbish, we're gonna revive... Reborn the monster! The Simeon goes back. In this situation, we can end our opponent. Or we use Sycamore and just be sure to get that uh, double Carlos, but uh, with the end we won't be uh, sure that we can get the double Carlos energy. So, I'm gonna play aggressively here and just use the Sycamore. Uh, yeah, because we don't need Trubbish, uh, it's too sh a shame. We can also use the uh, N in this situation to preserve that uh, VS Seeker, but I really need the double Carlos energy, man. We need damage on the field right now. So we get the double Carlos energy as predicted. So we're gonna slap down the Psimian. Also gonna give Garbodor a go. Garbodor is in town, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're also gonna give Psimian uh, the Fighting Fury Belt, dealing more damage like that. We also have another, uh, yeah, uh, Floatstone if he des decides to Lysander out something just to stall. We also have the Ultra Ball, we can get out something. Uh, the, the thing is, we also have the Tauros in our deck. So, if he decides to do something crazy, we can Ninja Boy later. So, the team play going down, come on, Pisinians, group together, 110 damage. So, Silent Lap is down, Garbodor is down, so no abilities are allowed. So, even with the Silent Lap, we were already good, but if he uh, overplaces it with a Scorch Earth or something, then we're not safe anymore, so for now, yeah, Garbodor will do the trick. He will only be able to deal 130 damage, and he cannot attack uh, anyhow, so that is good. He will have to retreat to another uh, Vulcanian in order to deal 130 damage, which is still not enough to knock out a Passingian. Haha! <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, so Lysander definitely going down, maybe Shaman? Yeah, of course. We have one of those guys, it's Shaman Hunter. Uh, yeah, that, that's the bad thing about playing Shaman in a deck like this, that way they definitely take two prize cards. He definitely retreats to the Vulcanian, <laughs> yeah, and uh, he will definitely destroy us with the attack, Volcanic Heat. Boom, 130. Impressive amount of damage, but uh, next turn he cannot attack, so that is something good for us. Okay, we have an end, that is good, we can end our opponent. We have another Nazbal coming down. Nazbal could be great for getting out a Mew, but then again, do we really need a Mew? That is the question. We can also get out the Tauros in this situation. 
yeah, Floatstone, I'm not too sure about that. We also have Olympia in our deck. We have not used that, so maybe just getting the Floatstone down. And uh, just checking out with the Nest Ball what we still have in our deck. We can get out the Mew. Why not? Yeah, the Mew does have low HP, so I'm not too big of a fan of using Mew. Mew can actually deal more damage than uh, the Simians because uh, we have four of them on our bench, so that already deals up 120, it's uh, 130 damage. We're just gonna wait with the Nest Ball not getting out anything. And uh, just using M, because if he Lysander's out of Mew, uh, he can definitely destroy it. So uh, with that, I'm not uh, a big fan of it. So, uh, we have two Fighting Fury Bells. They always go down to the right Pokémon right there. We are already used a Supporter in this turn. We end our opponent. Uh, Tauros is still in the deck. Uh, maybe with the Trainer's Mail we can get a, a VS Seeker. Or a Professor Kukui. That is also something we can do. And uh, what else can we do when our trainer's mail? Let's just check it out. We have, yeah, Puzzles of Time and Olympia. Yes, I'm gonna get out the Olympia probably because uh, Puzzles of Time will get something back, but uh, we, not, we don't need it at the moment. For now, let's just retreat to the Simeon. And uh, yeah, the Super Rod can get back Shaman. And uh, that is something we don't want. So. We're not gonna use the Nest Ball in this situation, we're gonna keep the Tauros in the deck and the Mew as well. So for now, it, it is a dead card. We don't really need it, but if need be, we can just use it. So, uh, team play coming down for a bazillion damage. Is that bazillion damage? It's 110, perfect number to two shot this Volcanion, even with a, uh, a power. What am I saying? I'm going crazy. It's a, uh, yeah, Fighting Fury Bell. Even with that, we can just destroy it. So uh, he will definitely go back to his baby Volcanion. There's nothing else he could have done. So we need, uh, yeah, Lysander in this situation. Maybe, uh, yeah, should have been so rough on the VS Seekers, but uh, yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, even though, uh, yeah, he can deal that uh, the amount of damage, Volcanic Heat, we uh, definitely need to Lysander that guy up. He has already a ton of energies. We don't want that. Power Heater going down, 20 damage. Whew. That is uh, nothing. The thing is that uh, he will be able to destroy us with his Volcanic Heat next turn. So, we have the VS Seeker for the Lysander. That is something terrific. Uh, yeah, the thing is we can use Olympia here. But uh, we want to get prizes. So for now, Lysander is definitely the play here. He can also attach an energy to that other Volcanion. But uh, yeah, we need two prizes. Maybe uh, Puzzles of Time is priced, and I should have checked that. Super Rod still not doing anything in this matchup. So, for now, team play! Boom! Gets ourselves two prizes. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully he does not have a Fire Energy, so we have a, yeah, another DCE. That is good. If he destroys us, we can definitely get back into the game again. So, uh, if he does not uh, have the Fire Energy, he will attack with the regular Volcanion. And, uh, yeah, Escape Rope. Hmm, interesting. That escape rope can be uh, something good. He will be definitely be able to destroy something. So, in this situation, I really don't know what we can do. So, a uh, power heater coming down, so no fire energy in sight. He will definitely attach us from the discard. There is still one VS Seeker in the deck. Hmm. We have a Mew. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mew coming down. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it's going. Uh, the Vulcanian will deal uh, 130 damage, we having, uh, yeah, I think for now we have 150, if we heal 30 with the Olympia, I think we should be good. So we're gonna do that, we're just gonna use Olympia, gonna switch out to the one with the Floatstone, healing off 30 damage. I'm also gonna give uh, a Fighting Energy to something, or actually a Double Carlos Energy for our backup to Simeon. And uh, actually, Mew could have dealt even more damage in this situation. Hmm. Going back to the Pessimian, I'm actually gonna go to this one. There we go. Hmm. Tough, tough, tough choices here. For now, we can snipe or we can just destroy this uh, baby Volcano. With that, he won't be able to recover energies. I think that is the smartest play in this situation. So we are coming back from the dead, b -b -b bad yes, alright, we get another prize card, so that baby Volcanion is gone, there's another one facing us down, okay, interesting, 
So maybe we need a strong energy. Is there still a strong energy in the deck, folks? We have... Yeah, we still have one. So maybe the professor... Oh, actually, the Professor Kokui can also do the trick for us. So, something coming down here. Mm -mm -mm. Who will... Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for this Pesimian. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna destroy it? Yes, he is gonna destroy it. Interesting choice. I should have done the... He should have done, actually, uh, yeah, that's all that he can do. He can also destroy the Garbodor, but uh, with that volcanic uh, that, uh, ability is going on, I don't like that. So, an M coming down. Interesting matchup, indeed. So, we have Enhanced Hammer. That does not do a thing. We have the Professor Sycamore, though. Sycamore, hopefully we can get something out of that. Maybe, uh, yeah, something to get that Pessimium back on the plate. Okay, he gets another prize card. Only one, though. Go! We're just gonna promote the floatstone. Always promote the guy with the floatstone, guys. All right. What do we do get? We get another DCE. We can get out Mew, but Mew, as mentioned, is way too weak. So uh, we're just gonna get out the Simeon, another DCE to this guy. Actually, let's just use the Nas Ball and see what is in the deck. We can get out Tauros. Tauros won't do a thing. Actually, uh, he won't be able to deal more damage. If he attacks the Tauros, we can deal more damage. So, uh, actually, Mew is the one we are gonna discard. Is that the best play? Mew can deal even more damage. But, uh, ah, maybe you should get out the, the Nest Ball with the Mew and give it the DCE, but it's a weak target, so I don't like that. So, we have a puzzle of time, a Ninja Boy, a strong energy. So, strong energy is something we need. Alright, so there's a VS Seeker Prize. Hmm. Let's see what we can get. We have Ninja Boy and Taurus, of course. Of course, we get the Taurus. Uh, yeah, Super Rod and uh, Pessimian. You go. You can go back into the deck, man. Actually, we need the other ones. We can only. We cannot put only one in. That is unfortunate. But we need Pessimian, so it's back in the deck. And uh, with Nasbo, we can just get it back. So uh, yeah, where are you, guy? There he goes, Pessimian, on its way. Alright, now we retreat, and uh, there, uh, this one will attack. Four, how many damage? Let's see. Kacha! Again, 110. Perfect number, even with the Fighting Fury Belt, won't do a thing. So, the Simeon two shots the Pokemon, and uh, with that, we can just get some sub prizes. The prizes are awesome. So, another Volcanion there, so he will retreat and attack with that one. Escape Rope again. Man. You really need to stop doing that. And what is he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna attack with this one. This one has more HP, but then again, what will he do about it? We will not be destroyed. And uh, actually we deal 110 damage with that. He is at 230. 230 damage. Is more than enough to destroy it. We have the Ninja Boy as well. <laughs> if we want, we can go to go to Tro Tauros and get ourselves that. We also again use the Professor Kukui in this situation. I'm actually gonna give a regular energy to this one if he lies and there's a doubt. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just gonna give it to this guy. And uh, actually, ah, I should have done something else. Ooh. Is there still a DCE in my deck? Nope. Oh man. There's no DCE in my deck. So even if I use Ninja Boy, this wouldn't help at all. Yeah, we can retreat. That is something we can do. A retreat, that way he does not get a prize card the next turn. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. I'm just gonna get out the other Pessimian, get rid of that energy. Yes. And Professor Kukui can do something for us. But uh, in this situation, I don't really need the extra damage. So we're just gonna go with the team play like normal. Poof. Getting ourselves two more prize cards. So VS Seeker, where are you? Are you here? Or here? Y yes. We got the VS Seeker. This should be in the bag. Yes. That's how it rolls. A really tight game. Simeon against Volcanion. 
two great decks in the format right now. Volcanion has been around since the Steam Siege set and Simeon, a new deck from Summon Moon, proving itself to be worthy thanks to the Garbodor helping it out because otherwise with the abilities that would be really crazy. Uh, yeah, those abilities are causing us a lot of trouble with that uh, Steam up, but uh, we're safe on that. So via Seeker coming down, we're gonna get out the Lysander in this situation. And uh, who will be the target? Of course, we're gonna destroy this one, destroying all the Volcanian EXs. We're gonna get the boost, even the damage with 20 extra damage. And uh, team play. Come on, Passimians, attack that Volcanian! <laughs> the damage is increased, and we win. So, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed another TCG online match. If you did, definitely show your support by destroying the like button and uh, giving your thoughts and epic new ideas in the comment section below. I'll be sure to read them all. And uh, yeah, as always, have a fantastic day. Fantastic evening, morning, midday, whatever. If you're eating while e watching this video, uh, yeah, bon appetit for you guys. And I will be seeing you guys soon with more TCG videos. Stay subscribed. Peace out.